<laughs> I told them I'd have the spotlight. Wait, we're supposed to recap the last episode. Well, somebody's gotta make it interesting, or else they just skip this part. Yeah, no, I'm leaving. Okay, okay, whoa, wait, hold on. Last time on Dragon Ball Xeno X. The tournament is still going on. It's only the fifth episode, it's not really surprising. Even though Scar seemed pretty strong against Vale, he still wasn't enough for Goro. <sighs> but then that idiot Goro went and lost to Swain. You just had to rile him up, huh, Yukata? It was Vale's fault, not mine. Does Swain have what it takes to beat Yukata? No. Find out, now! Everything on the line. Swen versus Yukata. Remind me again, what did you say earlier? That Vale couldn't handle a hands-on fight. I can't believe you actually thought you'll be able to beat me. You ain't over your head, Scar, but I can respect your drive to want to beat me. But all that pride ends here, with you on the ground. Knocked out. Shut up already! Where the hell am I? You're in the infirmary. Are you some kind of idiot? Let's quiet down a bit, guys. The infirmary, huh? Okabe's not injured. Zero's here, which means... I'm leaving. Where do you think you're going? Don't you have a job to do? It's none of your damn business. Look, we're all just here to help you get back to full strength. Just give her a few more minutes to patch you up, all right? Thanks for coming back. Oh, you two can't be serious. Pull yourself together. Huh? huh? Whatever those idiots in the crowd think doesn't matter. So stop feeling sorry for yourself in the infirmary and go cheer for that idiot swing. Because when we win, they'll have no choice but to acknowledge us. So, what will it be? You sitting here skulking? Or going out there and showing us why you belong here? And if you don't decide to go out there, don't ever call yourself a warrior again. You know he's been through a lot. Oh, shut up. He shouldn't act like he's the only one. Zero, I don't- He's right, Okabe. I should have been out there to cheer everyone on before their matches. I told myself I was ready to hear everyone's boos, but I guess I wasn't. And now, I'm just hanging out in the infirmary. I'm taking Scar's advice and heading back to the arena. I'm glad you're ready to move forward, buddy. Let's go win a tournament. Thanks, Scar. I needed that. Just leave already. Uh, 
having them around might not be so bad after all. I know, right? I can already tell that this team was made for greatness. Let's go win the tournament! So you finally caught up to my plan, Cronoa. <laughs> I'm just a bit surprised by how long it took the Heads of Time Patrol to figure it out. You did well lasting this long, Zebek, but in the end, you got sloppy. It's no surprise that I of all people would catch on. Have you ever thought that maybe, just maybe, I simply wanted you to catch on? If that's the case, then maybe I gave you more credit than you deserved. Each time I went and collected a cosmic dragon ball, I made sure to lay waste to any living being within the area. I'm sure you can infer what that means. It means that you believe you're strong enough to take me out, right? Right you are again, Miss Cronoa. For a supreme Kai of time, it's honestly ironic, how you really don't understand how badly this ends for you. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. I'll ask once, before I have no choice but to attack. Hand over the Dragon Balls. To actually see you, trembling at the thought of killing me? <laughs> Goodbye, Cronoa. This will be the last time that anyone will speak your name. What? Ladies and gentlemen, after witnessing that last match, I'm sure everyone here is thirsty for another bout between hardened warriors attempting to join the Time Patrol. Well, luckily for you, we have yet another match set in place. Introducing first, another one of Trunks' upstart warriors, was, nobody could have predicted his match would end in a single hit! Next up is a warrior that even Zebek describes as gifted. He's been hell-bent on reaching his late great brother's spot within the ten. After seeing him in action, some say it's almost guaranteed! Let's give a round of applause for the alchemist of time's brother, Yukata! Why do you have to go and rile him up? I thought he'd go last. Good luck, Swing. Even I'd have to put some effort into this fight. And one more reminder to the audience and competitors that the only way to win is by forfeit or by knockout. Now, without further ado, let the fifth match begin! Wow! You can almost see the tension in the air! Which fighter will be the first to act? <clears throat> Oh, I knew this was going to be a hard fight. Hey, 
Hey, Go Paints, we're back. Oh, glad to see you guys. Of course. How are things going so far? I can't say for sure, but as of right now, be ready to fight Yukata, Okabe. I don't know if Swin can win this one. Have a little faith, Go Paints. The match just started, right? Even if things are as bad as you're putting it, I'm sure Swin will figure something out. Look, I know how strong Swin can get, all right? The real question is, does Swin know how to get there himself? you're still holding back! You're not even worth the trouble. I barely moved an inch. <gasps> There's just no way! So far he's been drawing me in and countering. I was able to get in close to get a feel for his rhythm. But I can't find a way to break his defense. I got it! I'll need to use a second intention to get through. Come on, Swin. Don't be predictable. Loser used the arena to create rubble. <laughs> A huge explosion from the competitor swam. That's what I'm talking about! Guess Zero was right, huh? Not bad, I guess. <laughs> I can tell you're a pretty skilled fighter, but before we continue, I need to know one thing. Yeah, what's up? When you hit me, I could sense the vigor and passion behind your punches. I just want to know, what drives you to want to win so badly? Hmm. I guess I just want to have my name respected by the strongest fighters to ever live. What? What a stupid reason to fight. <laughs> be realistic. Do you really think you have what it takes to be acknowledged by the highest ranking warriors among us? Not to mention the 10. Mm, some personality he has. If that's what keeps pushing you to be here right now, just quit. Quit? And just why would I do that? If I turn away, I won't be the only person I'm letting down. I have people that look up to me, and people that are counting on me to keep winning. I won't disappoint them. I see. Then I guess I have no choice but to show you the true harsh reality. If that means you're finally gonna take me serious, then that's what I like to hear. Is that all you've got, Cronoa? Don't tell me you're too weak to face a mere mortal. Such ignorance! Uh, uh, ah! <laughs> ah! 
this still isn't enough to beat me. <laughs> Krinoa, if I were you, I'd start taking this seriously. Can't you see? A new age is upon us. An age that will not only move the Time Patrol, but the entire nation. Without you as the Supreme Kai. A new nation? What are you talking about? I followed your lead since the day you picked me up. The day I lost everything. Years later, I'm still acting as if I'm some type of... D dog And here I stand, empty-handed, no more. What were you expecting, Zebek? To bring back everything you lost? That's not what we stand for, and you know you it. You don't know what I stand for, Krinoa. You sit on that high horse of yours, the god of time, without any regard for what us mortals go through. You send us to protect the weak and defenseless from these time anomalies, while you yourself weren't there to protect us from the ones that started this mess in the first place. I had a family, damn it! Zebek, you know it's my duty as the god of time. God of time? God of bullshit! What? That's it. I've made up my mind. I'll kill the damn bird. What was that? Mm. Ah! 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 Mm. Falling right into my trap. Ah! <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Cut the axe, Zebek. You're falling apart. Though it's. <laughs> Still not enough. Oh, I wonder how they'll remember you. <laughs> oh, wait. They won't. Cut it out, Zebek! This is the end, Krinoa. Just in time. Oh, Zebek. Why'd you have to turn out like this? <laughs> what? But how? I can't believe you're actually this stupid. You were so worried about me and my attacks. Then you didn't even notice the real one. The real one? Toki no Ryu. Come forth and grant my wish! Bless you. <laughs> you all right, Gotains? Huh? Oh, oh yeah. Um, allergies. Uh, th but don't mind me. Let's let's focus on the match. So is this it? What are you talking about? In terms of this fight, is this really all you have to offer? I could say the same for you. I'm just getting started. All right, I'm being serious now. Transform, I'll knock you out. Transform? Into what?
Idiot! Transform, you have a tail, don't you? What does that have to do with anything? You don't think I'm a shapeshifter, do you? What an idiot. He actually thinks he can stand a chance without transforming. Not only is this guy a clown, but he's the whole damn circus. Enlighten me, Swin. How exactly do you plan on pulling off anything in life if you don't even have the strength to achieve it? Um, I'll just get stronger. That question was kind of dumb, don't you think? Interesting. Now let me ask you another question. I don't think that was a question. If getting stronger wasn't a problem, then don't you think everyone else would be ten times stronger? Those few first days of training are always a bit challenging. Regardless, you still find a way to manage. Then reality hits and the days become weeks, and those weeks become months, and those months turn into more pointless years wasted. And each night when you go to sleep... What the heck is going on? You slowly come to realization of how insignificant your little existence is in such a world. And then you realize, there's always someone training harder than you. Finding stronger opponents than you. And is better than you. In every. Single. Way. You see, Swin, I live with the truths of this cruel, unpitying, suppressive reality. Full of unrealistic expectations destined to fail. They're not unrealistic. Believe in yourself and never quit. That's what she told me. You have no clue how this world works. But I do. Because life was hell for me growing up. I never realized it back then, but ever since Rentaro died, everything became clear to me. We're all just tools in life. Use as pawns to help and hurt other organisms as we see fit. They make it seem like we have so much freedom in this life. That we can do whatever we want. But how much freedom do we really have? Enough freedom for a child to surpass the strength of his own brother. Enough freedom for our loved ones to wake up from their graves and come back to us. You're no different from anyone else in this world. Repugnant, unrealistic, and childish. Hearing you say all this makes me wonder, why are you even here then? Just because you give up on your dreams doesn't mean I have to as well. <laughs> How can I give up on my dreams that were stolen from me? The one and only reason I'm here is to protect Hisaki. I see now. It's so sad to see such potential wasted. Now you're just a shell of yourself, attached to your friend. Uh, like I thought, you're way too stubborn. Which is the single most thing I hate about you Saiyans. I'll defeat you in the next attack since you made things too difficult. You can send as many attacks as you want. I'm not giving up. I'll make you use 100%. That's when I'll show you. I'll spare you from the dread and despair life has in store for you. Ugh, is he serious? What is it, Gotenks? That idiot went and riled Yukata up. Now he's cooking up something crazy. It's like he wants the disadvantage. Come on, Swin. If you don't use that same power from before, we're screwed. I won't let you... Swin! Damn that Cronoa! Cronoa? Who's that? I have no desire to let the 
sun inside my darkened heart The soulless and pathetic world that's slowly killing me I have got to break free I have